You know, sometimes, uh, uh, you know, growth is dependent upon an organization and a mindset. Um, and how, how do you... How, how do you translate that across an organization? I think it's important to recognize that growth puts enormous strain on culture, and you need to anticipate that. Uh, it doesn't mean you don't grow because you don't want to change the culture, but it puts a lot of strain on culture. Um, you do need to identify, identify those core things in your culture that you want to preserve. You also need to recognize that the, the mere fact that you're going to grow is going to make it a different environment. So really think consciously of the elements of the culture you absolutely want to preserve and then anticipate that the level of familiarity, among other things, will evolve over time. And you've got to make people understand that that transition is going to occur, but also understand that there are core elements of the culture you want to preserve. There is a dream, a bigger dream. And at least you communicate that dream to the people in your company. The people in my company know that our bigger dream, our biggest dream, is not to grow our company, is not to make money, but to make our country grow. You know, throughout your career, we've all made a little misstep, miscalculation. Uh, <laughs> we thought we knew where the world was going or our company was going. Tell us about uh, some of the miscalculations of growth that you made and how you dealt with it. <laughs> going into and be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Going into business, I did not understand, like starting a magazine. What did we know about that? Zero. Were we aware that a magazine takes at least two through three years to break even? Well, someone had told us something like that, but we're going to do it differently. We're going to find a way. Uh, gosh, you see those gray hairs? <laughs> they come from that time. That was terrible. Having the wrong partner not breaking a partnership that it's not working, trying, thinking that, well, I, I will make it work when you know it won't. So those are big mistakes. Not knowing your limitations, not having the guts to say no when you have to say no. I think the biggest challenge when you run a company is not the to-do list. That's very easy. I see opportunity all over. I see a lot of opportunities. The biggest difficulty is the not to do list. Things that you are not going to do, although there is opportunity, although everything is there, although someone is going to profit from that. Leave it to someone else. Do what you know. Do what is according to your dream, what's going to help you get there. And that's it. Fine. I think a, a couple of my uh, bigger mistakes really resulted from uh, the wrong hiring. You know, hiring the wrong person, um, and and uh, that's one of those things that if you make that sort of a mistake, you really put uh, a business in jeopardy. And uh, particularly again on the international front, uh, the, when you when you go into a new country, hiring the right person to be responsible for that country is the single most important thing you're going to do that will help determine the success of that operation. And I've fallen in the trap uh, before of of getting frustrating with the hiring, frustrated with the hiring process and settling for somebody that I kind of knew was, they were okay, but they weren't quite up to the standard, but I really needed somebody, so I settled. Uh, every time I've done that, I've regretted it. Um, the, other, the other mistake I've made in hiring is not hiring senior enough soon enough. So I remember when we went into France, for instance, uh, we wanted to be a scrappy startup and and uh, some, of the, some of the counsel I got is, hey, let's hire people who are very close to the community, really understand the community. You don't need very senior people. You don't need a senior leader. Just get somebody who's, who's, who's scrappy. Uh, and we got somebody who was scrappy, but who wasn't particularly strategic and didn't help us build the business in the way we needed to build it. Um, so that, that actually set us back pretty significantly. So I think hiring is always, always critical. And I think patience, particularly when you're growing fast, is hard. But just hold out until you get the absolute right person. 